Hey guys, this is Connor McRae from ConnorMacRaeMedia.com. So here's another quick tip from one of my photos from RTX. Now this photo right here is a floor shot, the Expo Hall floor. Now it looks very busy and chaotic and all these things, and that's why I think it's a really, really good shot. Well, I can make it a good shot. The reason that I think this is a good shot to start with is because you see a tremendous amount of people in a very, very small area. You want to show crowds. You want to show it being packed. You want to show all these kinds of things. So when potential vendors or companies are looking at an event to come to, they want to see that, oh, there actually is interaction. There is people there. So here's what I'm going to do to help basically make this a very nice promotional photo. First things first, as I always do, I check the white balance. This actually turned it pretty green. So I'll leave it where it was. Actually, I got it right on set set on the floor and what I did was I used a white balance card so I was pretty close to where the white balance setting should have been in the first place now the one thing you can see though is that I was kind of crooked now this is because I put the camera above my head to do this shot so I kind of knew it was gonna be a little off so let me fix the horizon line and voila hey everything looks straight now that's always a good thing uh, once again if you the things I always do before I usually even start with a photo. Uh, profile corrections, remove chromatic apparition. So you see this extra vignetting. Uh, if you saw my last video, I actually left the vignetting in there to try and draw your attention in. Where this, I want you to see everything and it'd be a lot brighter. So this is why I'm going to leave it this way. So when I have it like this, I have the lens correction on and I have the chromatic apparition uh, negated. Because it's a wide angle lens, it does that fisheye effect, so now it's all nice and stretched out and very pretty. So, what I'm gonna do for here, here is just do a quick little tonal correction, see what it wants me to do. So this brightens everything up, a little too bright for my taste. I'm gonna add some contrast back. I'm probably actually gonna bring down the white balance a little bit to make it a little more blue. Add some color in, and probably bring the shadows back just a tad. Now. You see these people right here up front. They're going to be in the focus. The primar They're primarily in focus. Apologies. So what you want to make sure is that the people up front that are going to draw you in don't look crazy off. In one way or another, either being super blurry or super tack sharp, like over sharp and things like that. So having them there right here in a more or less balanced sharpness to blur range is fine. So here's what you also see. You see Streamer Central, you see the store. Actually, I believe this is a shot of the store or inside of it. You see big banners flying high and you also see a giant roof, which means it instinctively tells you this is a large area that they are filling up and you see all people. This is a great photo and it's a great way to like show that you know how to take scale photos. You really don't see any, you see people all the way to the wall and you don't see any negative space, which is great. So, this is just a little quick tip if you're looking for con photography or anything like that that can give you certain kinds of crowd shots or anything you want for advertisements. This is probably a good way to look at it. Look for odd things. The high up angle doesn't always work. In this case, it does. But you always want to make sure you can show lots of people. And that's a quick tip for you on shooting an event. My name is Connor. If you like this video, please click uh, like down below. Hit the subscribe button to see more of my RTX photo tips or my event photo tips and anything like that. And if you want to see all my photos from the event, you can go to www.connormacraymedia.com slash RTX dot dash 2016. All right. Thank you very much and have a good one.